Welcome back to HodgePodge. This video will be a very quick exercise. Then in the next video, we will practice creating fillets and chamfers. I will open up the chamfer.3dm file that you should have downloaded with the level one training manual if you have been watching this series from the beginning. If you are just joining in with us, you do not necessarily need to have this model to learn this simple task. That will be less true for other tutorials. So, to create a chamfer, go to your top menu and select Curve Chamfer Curves. Enter 1, 1 to set your first and second distance. The default should already be set to 1 and 1. Select the first and second line segment that you would like to chamfer. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that you have either join or trim selected. These should be self explanatory, but if they are not, in this exercise, you should select join. I made the mistake of forgetting to do so and paid the price later on. But no worries, it's an easy fix, which I will highlight later on in the video. Now type 3, 2 to set the first and second distance of your next chamfer. Keep in mind that the order in which you select your line segments will affect the outcome of the chamfer, as you can see with the chamfer on my second corner. To get the correct distances in the order I prefer, I will need to reverse the order in which I select each line segment. After chamfering all of my corners, I will change to the surfaces layer and open all four viewports. As you can see in the perspective viewport, my two drawings are spaced apart and the exercise is prompting us to loft the space in between them. You could select all of your drawing by clicking and dragging like so, but let's say you had a more complex model and you wanted to select all of the curves effortlessly without capturing any surfaces or other features that might be within the model. You could do so by going to the top menu and selecting Edit, Select Points, Curves. To loft, you should know how to do this by now if you've been watching past tutorials. However, if not, it is as simple as selecting Surface Loft from the top menu. We will want to use straight edges in this case. As I had mentioned, if you did not join all of your chamfers, you will probably get this funky result you see here. Like I said, there is a super easy fix to this. Just select all of your curves and type the command join. We will again select surface loft. Be sure to select do not simplify. And that is it for exercise 34 in the level one Rhino training manual. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. If so, please leave a like, comment, or share it with a friend. In the next video, we will be combining our recently learned skills and we'll be putting them to practice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.